So over here, this is where I did the installation for the generator. At my house, I only have a panel outside on the exterior. Your house might be a little bit different, but this is my setup. Um, I have a 150 amp main, and I got this um, interlock kit from Amazon. It's made by Eaton, specifically for this panel. It did come with all these stickers. It also shows an instruction on how to start your generator. That came with the kit, as well as some certification stickers that make it up to code. Also came with this sticker right here. Breaker cannot be on if panel cover is removed. This breaker right here is always gonna stay off whenever it's not being used. And then whenever you hook it up, that's when you go ahead and shut off the main and you flip this in the up position and then you can turn on the generator breaker and it could back feed the panel. Whatever you do, do not install a generator without the interlock kit. Um, the interlock kit is gonna be protecting the utility workers from getting electrocuted. What happens is if you plug in this generator and you back feed the system, it'll now create high voltage to the utility workers when they're working on the poles or they're working on the utilities and you can possibly kill someone. So don't ever install a generator without having some sort of interlock kit before you turn it on. So I ran a conduit right here to a generator inlet box and this is where you plug in the cord for the generator. So here's the actual label. Um, it shows the model number, the rated wattage, the surge wattage, the rated amperage, frequency, gas tank capacity. Also note that if you're going to use gas or propane that the wattage rating is different so just take that into consideration. Also you don't want to have the generator inside when you're using it definitely have it outside because of carbon monoxide poisoning. So with this 50 amp setup it's not going to turn on everything in your home. You can run 240 volt loads but you kind of have to look at the wattage on what your equipment is to see if this generator or any other generator that you use is compatible and capable of doing these things. For me, I can only run certain things in my panel. For instance, I can't run the furnace or the range. I could run the AC and the water heater, but then I can't use any of these other breakers. These other breakers are for basic lighting, refrigerator, and microwave, so it's best to only turn on what you need and that's it. And if you want to use something else, go ahead and shut off these loads. Maybe you turn on one breaker and use one at a time. You have to remember this type of system is for emergencies only. It's not meant to run your whole house. They have full size, more expensive generators that can do that. But this specific setup is for situations that are not expected. For example, like I live in Texas and there was an ice storm and we had no power for like three days. So. This stuff could get me my 240 volt circuits working temporarily in moderation so that we can have hot water and we can run um, like a space heater or something just to warm up a certain room. All right, now let's see what hooking up this generator looks like.
as you can see all the lights still work in the house uh, this is running just off the generator as well as the fridge This generator is pretty loud, um, but during an ice storm or during power outages, you're not going to be concerned about that. Um, but I mean, what do you expect off a generator that can have good capability of running your equipment? Um, I don't think the noise would really bother you. Um, but yeah, once you have it plugged in, all your stuff is going to work in the house. That's 120, unless you want to use a 240 volt load, but you're going to have to sacrifice on turning off some of your circuits so you can run some uh, 240 volt loads. So right now we're gonna uh, switch power from the generator power back to the utility power. Okay, utility power is back on, and then you can go ahead and put your generator back, unplug everything, and you're all set.